This video is all about writing a program that will print out a diamond-like structure like this. Now, we're going to use for loop to do this. Now, before we start, before we start, now, I'll use this medium to appreciate my subscribers, both old and new subscribers. Please subscribe. Um, I also want to appreciate my viewers. I also want them to please subscribe, like, comment, and also share the video. Now, let's start. The software, the program I want to use, I want to use Python to, to be able to print out this. And this particular um, code will be able to also ask the user to specify how high the diamond should be. Now, let's begin. Now, if you look at that diamond, let's say you now you have x, the next one is 3, the next one is 5. The next one is seven. Then now you now come back to five. Then the next one three. Then the next one four. Uh, one. Now if you look at this diamond, you notice that. The number, the number of these rows is what? Seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you check the way the numbers are being written, now the first one you have one star, the second one you have three, the third one you have five, the fourth one you have what seven. Now it now comes down to five, three, and one. You see, the diamond starts with one. Now, since it starts with one, and the difference is two. Since it starts with one, it means that it only works with odd numbers. You study it. Now, that means if you want to increase this, let's say you want to increase it to nine. Nine. It means the middle one is going to be nine the middle one just like as this one is seven will be nine if you want to make it five the middle one will be five the middle number of stars will be five why the rows will be five the mag as in the maximum this thing will be five now let's go to let's go to for here now the height for this particular problem is equal to what seven now we can increase the height of the diamond so maybe nine five it depends on the so but actually the num the, the value is supposed to be putting in there is odd numbers because if you put in um even numbers it will not work because you cannot have one here, one as in one um, figure here. Though, when I teach the if statement, I will not do the if statement here, but when I get to that if statement, I will now also teach you how you can run, you can write the code where you can also be able to put in any number, whether even on this. 
but only that the thing we, we need you now need to modify the number so that it will move from being an even number to an odd number so with an if statement but we are not using if statement in this situation now the height of this is seven from this explanation now you can make it five you can make it nine you can make it eleven depends on what you want now depends on two because now this code we need to ask the user we ask the user what is the height you want this thing to be so now let's begin let's go to the environment so now we are using python i'm actually using spider so spider and it, the, the one the, uh, the version i'm using the python version i'm using is python 3.11 so it's python 3 that i'm using here so what we're going to do now is we're going to now the code we're going to write is to ask the user what is the height he wants so we'll just say height equal to eval press the tab key now press input input so press the tab key we we'll put a um, quotation mark you, you can use single quotation mark or double quotation mark now i will just type in enter the height of the of the diamond of the diamond the diamond shape okay shape let me just leave it like that now i will not need to use the for loop i in range press the top key let me just say let me just put one but it's not one i'm going to use let me let's go back to the let's go back here and show what we're supposed to use so now i wanted to create first i want to do it in two now i want to use two for loop i want to use two loop for loop system so now this first shape that looks like triangle we are going to create it first now if you look at it for everyone you notice that the first the rows are one two three four it ends at four now the next one is one two three so that means if you look at this way the thing is being arranged whether it is nine it will still be the same it shows that the upper one is higher than the lower one by one meaning that you are adding your you see you're adding from the center up so that means that means since we have gotten the height and the height is seven now for us to be able to know the number of rows let's say you are given any other number which is which is not seven like nine eleven or any other one or five so what we're going to do for us to be able to get this for us to, to get the number of rows and also this number of this number of uh, rows down here too which is this triangle here the formula we're going to use that is in that is in python is you say height divide divide by two that is stroke stroke two this will give you an integer now 
like if here is 7 divide by 2 it will give you what 3 if here is 9 divide by 2 it will give you 4 if here is 5 divide by 2 it will give, divide by divide as in with this sign divide by 2 it will give you 2 so this 3 if you check the 3 we have gotten this one this one is 1 2 3 so for us to get this number of row that we're going to impute into that range, what the formula we're going to use, we're going to use height minus height divide divide by two. So this is what we're going to use there. So let's go back. Let's go back to that, to that program again. Now, that means this place that is 1, we're going to change it to that height minus, minus height divided divide by what? 2. So, now we have gotten that expression we have gotten the number of rows we're going to create now if you look at this that that again the next one we're going to say okay let me say print let me say print press the top key press quotation mark so now let me just put anything there but that's not what we're going to use this is not what we're going to use. Let me go back. Let's go back. Now, let me... I will not come to use this shape again. Let me draw another shape. Because we're working for the first upper um, triangle. So now, let me just draw it. Draw the first upper triangle. If I draw it... I will now explain what I want to do so that you follow me along. Because if I didn't explain it, you wouldn't. Now, if you look at this, if you draw a vertical line like this, if you draw a vertical line joining this to know where they meet. Now, if you look at this, you see you have, for, for you to get to this point, you have how many space? One two three space here you have one two this other one you just have one here there is nothing so for us to create this we now look at this space that was created now for this one you have the first three space now this this other one you have this other one you have two this other one we have one then this one is zero so 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 since we have gotten this like this now you know the way um python numbers the number from now let's assume the i we used in for loop the number from zero one two three now based on our own numbering system now we want to number from one, two, three, four. So this our numbering system will now be i plus one. So if you if you say zero plus one, you give you one. One plus one, you give you two. Two plus one, you give you three. Three plus one, it gives you four. So this is what we're going to use as our n term. This is what we're going to use as our n term for this. Now, we want to find the n term for this, or the i term for this. So what we're going to do is, we're going to use the arithmetic formula, where you have the n term to be equal to a, which is the first term, plus n minus 1 times the difference. Now, if you check, the first term is 3 plus 
the second term plus sorry the, the second term now nah, nah, for you to get difference the second term minus the, the first term will give you minus one so the difference is minus one why n is equal to i plus one so we use i plus one minus this one then now uh, times minus one so now you will now have three plus plus one minus one this will cancel out to cancel out this will cancel out now you now have i times minus one so this one will give you minus i so this is the same thing as three minus i so that is for the i term now since we have gotten this now if you check if you reduce this by five let's say you want five rows that means from here that means the middle one will be here so you see this one will reduce to two you see if it is five it will reduce to two so meaning that this three is the same thing as what we got here this if it is five is two if height is five this is two if it is nine it, this will be four if it is seven is three so this three here we now can change it in terms of the height to be height divide divide by two minus i so this is what we're going to use for these spaces now let's complete this other one then for this other one instead of not instead of course not to come back to this place for this other one you have the first one to be one the second one three the fourth one the, the third one five the fourth one seven so the number of stars now the first star is just one the first row is just one star the second row three star this the third row five star this the fourth row seven star now using this principle to also find the n term for this we now have we say t n is equal to a plus n minus one times t now you have the first one to be one plus the n is i plus one minus one the difference is two so this is the same thing as this one will cancel out you you now have only i left here so you have one plus two i so for all of them for all the forms of um for all the forms of the diamond they start with one so this one is a constant so this expression applies to all of them so we are going to use this expression for all of them now let's go back to our development development environment let's go back now what we're going to do now is we're going to create a space which is that space we're now going to multiply that space we're going to multiply that space with height press the tab key we we'll divide it we we'll use the divide sign two times by two then minus i then we now go over to the next one we say comma when i say comma the next one you put the quotation sign we put the star we go into the other one you say times bracket open when i use one plus two times i that is what we use so now with this now we have used the formulas we just created there now so so we, we have just 
So this will now create all the first row. The first row. Now let's troubleshoot it. Let's see whether it will create does not the first the first four row, the first triangle. Let's see. It will create this first triangle. This we just did will create this first triangle. You see, we use this one plus two i and this formula there. So now let's see if it will create that first triangle. Then we'll go over to the next one. We'll go over to the next one. So now let me just click um run. So now let me save seven. You see, it creates the first, the top. So now let's look at five. If we say five, the same thing creates it. Now let's say nine. You see, it creates it. It adds more. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you look at it. See. Now let's now also create the lower part of the triangle. Now we'll now make the diamond. Now let's go back to this expression. Now let's go with the, the next one, the lower one, you have one, you have the, the this other one starts with five. It starts with five, then the next one is three. The next one is one. So we have just created this other one, which is seven. So we're not working on that. Now, that means from this other triangle, the first, when you check now, when you check from that first one, let me just add it from this last one, the seventh one. Sorry, the first one, which has seven stars. Now, if you look, if you look down, now from here you have one. Here you have two. You have three. So the same here too. So we we're not working with this other one. We're not working with this other spaces here. So we're working with this other space. So now when you look at the spaces now, the, you have the first one, you have one. The second one, you have two. The third one, you have three. Now, based on the numbering system, you have zero, one, two. Now, we have three rows here. Now, based on this is based on Python numbering system. But based on our numbering system, we start from one, two, Three. So this is i. So this other numbering system will have i plus one. Now we now needed to find. Now let's look at also these stars. Now the first one you have five star. The second one you have. The second one you have three star. The third one you have one star. So now. We first look at the spaces. Work with the spaces first. The spaces now. Let's use this arithmetic progression formula. Now you have t t subscript n equal to a plus n minus one times the difference. Now when you check now for that spacing, the first one is one plus i plus 1 minus 1 so and the difference is 1 so this will give you this is 1 this one now this will cancel out you now have plus i now this formula is, is a constant it will not change so that is what we're going to use because after this first row the next one there is a space of 1 which is this then this one just increases so it will remain the way the way it is we are not going to change it with anything now the next one 
which is the stars the stars so which with this one the stars are five three one so now we have we're going to make you still make use of this formula the first one is five plus or minus plus sorry not plus or minus plus n is i plus one minus minus this one times the difference three minus five will give you minus two so we now have five now this will cancel out you have i times minus two so you have minus two i as the answer now if you look thoroughly you see after this one that the, this one after this one this one that is higher after this one which is seven the next one because since when you check the difference the difference between this between this and this is minus is two so meaning that and the one and the one next to the second one if you're coming down is the highest one let's say if you have nine rows that means the first one the, the that one this one will be nine then the next one below it will be seven meaning that they, they they have a difference of two so that means this formula will change from this we say height minus two then you, you will now add this minus two i so this is the formula we're going to use because this minus two just like if the height is seven if you put seven minus two you have five so this is the formula we're going to use for the stars so now we have gotten the formulas we are going to apply in that order lower triangle so now let's go back to the program now what we're going to do is and again there is an issue we didn't trash out let me go back now you have for this for the blower one we have just three rows now since we have three rows now that means if you have nine you will have four rows that means and if you have five you have two rows below so that means if you have five the height if the height is five you have two rows below because yeah this this is five the fifth one that means the only the row below is will now, will now just be only this one three and one which is this now if you have seven you have three rows which is this if you have nine nine will be the upper one then you have four rows one two three four so that is it so now the formula is now when you look at this you notice that if you use this formula you see that if you if it is seven you have three if it is nine you have four if it is five you have two so we're going to use that formula now meaning that the range should be height divide divide by two so this is what we're going to use to define that one so now let's go back to let's go back to the program now I'll, what i'll do is to copy this whole thing copy it and duplicate it so now what i'll do is just come here and paste so when we paste what we're supposed to hit, to use here is is height height divide by height it's height divide divide by two so that's what we're going to use here then here the spaces we just what we use for the spaces is just we said we're going to use one plus i so we're going to use one plus i then here we are going to we are using the height press the top key minus two minus two i so this is what we're going to use here 
Now let's check again. So it's correct. Now let's go back. So we are done. Now let's run this program to see whether it will give us the diamond. Now let's look at it. Now we need the seventh one. You see, the diamond comes out clear. Now let's look at if it is five. Very good. Let's see if it is nine. Great. Great, great. You see? Now let's see if let you see. So when it is nine, you see. Let me see. See, this is when it is nine. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows. Great. So thank you for watching to the end. Have a nice day. Although this mini project, it makes you understand this thing very well. Now, before we want, I want to just begin with this smaller the simpler one then from there we can now go to the higher one the higher projects we want to be doing smaller projects now from here we'll go to the higher projects so now thank you for watching to the end have a nice day please do well to subscribe like share and also comment on the comment section thank you